Alright. Maybe Michael Downer, a different show. I'm not sure if I ever filmed this or not, but this is an interesting show. It's uh, the historic Batstow Village in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. It used to be an industrial village. I think they used to make some, dig out some uh, iron ore in the ground and make all kinds of stuff, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, you think I would have. I lived here long enough in Jersey, but uh, it's like 8 o'clock, still cold out, it's about 32 degrees, so uh, right now me and Mike are just unloading. We'll get a better look at this later, this here's uh, Mike's uh, latest acquisition, it's a uh, 1943, 30, 30 kilowatt, I think, 30 kilowatt Mike? It's actually 20 kilowatt. Huh. 25 kVA. 25. But uh, interesting, interesting engine. Yeah. I'll let the, when Mike gets time, I'll let him explain it to you later on. Like I said, we're just setting up now. Got our heater going. And here are some of the historical buildings, porta potties, and uh, the lake over there, Cedar Lake. All right. They probably have the steamboat running on that later. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mike says they're gonna have a steamboat run, running on there later. So, so uh, I'll, I'm gonna take some uh, video, and uh, this place should really fill up, you know, because they, it, it's more than an engine show. On the other side of the, the buildings there, you know, it's uh, arts and crafts and uh, all kinds of stuff. But uh, that's it. Nice, nice place down here. It's gonna be a nice day, you know. It's like I say, it's probably 34 right now, but it's uh, supposed to go up to 81. And uh, I'll get uh, I'll get some video of uh, some of the, some of the nicer stuff. Yeah. All, right. All right, it's still early here, but uh, I seen something interesting, and I thought I'd catch it for you guys. Over here, these guys are uh, putting up a, a hundred foot of railroad track. So that's all the way down there, and they're bolting it together. Come around here. Bolt everything together for this. Uh, what this thing used to do? Carry coal or something? Uh, no, we carried. Uh, Sand, sawdust, and cranberries out of the old, old state park. Oh yeah? Yeah. yeah. Cranberries? You never never think of that. Yeah. Interesting. It's a 1929 Model A engine. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Hopefully I catch you taking it off. Yeah. Okay. I'll probably be over there and they'll, they'll be down before I know it. <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, running back and forth all day today, so. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's the plan, yeah. It does run, so. Right. All right, there you go. We're going to uh, catch it. I'm going to try and catch it when I take it off the machine here. And uh, they say it's going to be running back and forth all day. Very cool. Here we go. There's something interesting. This is a steamboat. Oh, look, we're going to get some glare here. It is, it is steamed up. The guy's got it running. And I think he's going to dump it in the, the lake right now. Yeah. You see the steam now. Interesting. There we go. Carver. Some wooden pumpkins. 30 bucks for a wooden pumpkin. Won't rot. I guess it would rot eventually. It is this, uh, the crass people. I'm just walking back from the dock there. I'll be over a little bit. There we go. Wow. I think it moved pretty good.
see if they go put it in reverse, come on back. Yep. A little slower. My cranberry boxes. He knew, he knew what it was for. <laughs> That's I I've never heard of sanding the cranberry boxes. I didn't either until I started getting this project. They did that what just works for just to get new. All right. It's about 11 o'clock here. The engine part of the show is dead. It's like it's not even an engine show here. You know they got they got a car show over there. And but here this this place used to be packed. You know you see where all the yellow wire or yellow rope is. You know, they would have you all, all harnessed in here, but nothing, nothing here but uh, up front. Me, Mike, and uh, our buddy Bill. But other than that, nothing, you know, here, here's one engine over here. Let's see what we got. It's an old model, Model A maybe. Hmm. Dalamo. Yo. That's nice. And actually, actually, the car show. They got a car show going on over there. We we'll gonna take a look at that. Great turnout, though. I mean, people. But uh, like I say, the, the engine, the engine part of it's dead. We got, we got a couple things running over here. Yeah, this is really a, really a surprise. And there's, there's really nothing else going on, not, not another uh, engine show. Got the steam tractor running this uh, big saw. So we got here, Old International. Pretty cool. Let's go over this way. Take a walk up there and uh, we'll see what's going on up there. There's our buddy Phil. And as like the amount of put on this on that. This here's the line for the donuts. Apple cider donuts. This is a neat table. This is uh, one of my buddy's tables. The old coal miner hat. The spring spring shoes. There's something strange. It's for pigeon racing. Oh, and you can adjust it. Look here. Oh, yeah. 
sorry. Is that a setless ride or am I just really incredibly stupid? Oh, no, I'm not that stupid. We're full of views. Say, I, I so, 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 I think you would put a piece of food on this spike. That way, when the rat tries to catch it, pull it away. Well, yesterday, you said, ready for the rat. Back at a village over here. Hmm. Something interesting you don't see very often a cord. I couldn't even understand it. I know. Now I realize. I think that was the first car with hidden headlights. Nice Koopa. But King likes Koops. Yeah, tough to see. A lot of, lot of people. A lot of people to move, maneuver around. Which page is coming? January. January 2nd. Maybe before. Model T's. Now the poster gun is out of here. Chandler. I don't believe I've ever heard of that one. Put a horn set up on it. Yeah, looks like All right. There's a Jersey Pine Barrens all, all sand. Look, that's why you can, uh, that's why they grow cranberries and blueberries and everything down here. They like that kind of soil. There you go. Here's something. Here's something cool. High track. High track wheelchair. Look at that, man. That's cool. Alright, things have died down a little bit. And uh, this is one of Mike's latest acquisitions. I'm going to see if I can uh, get him to start up for us. You got a minute, Mike? You got a minute? Oh, you want to start it up? No, just uh, tell us a little bit about it, and then does it run? Does it run? <laughs> does it run? <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. All right, good talking with you. I just playing with him. I've, I've seen it run. It runs really nice. Yeah, what, what, what do we got, and what does it do, and what year, and everything? Okay, well, this is a, uh, it is a PE-84, uh, that's the military designation, uh, standby generator set, or it could be used for prime power, uh, depending on the application, so. Um, you know what, Mike, get up, get up there and stand next to that so they can see the, the size of that generator. Yeah, I mean. That's, that's literally just as big as Mike. half my height, yeah. Yeah, if, I mean, if Mike would have laid down sideways, that would be about the same size. That's incredible. 
All right, I didn't mean to interrupt everybody, but the, no. now they can see. Look at his hand on that compared yeah. to that. So, you be a... Uh, all right, you see, we're saying it was a, a, a military. Yeah, military unit. This particular unit was built in 1943. Um, I don't, I don't know if it was ever used in any real capacity, because uh, the, the the backstory on it is uh, it was bought military surplus in the early 50s, or late 40s, early 50s, uh, by a, a a farm, the owner of a farm up in Stockton, New Jersey. And he put it in one of the buildings that's backup power for the whole property. Hmm. So lot, it had a lot of buildings. It's just a big operation. Anyway. Let me take a, a close up of the hour meter here. We're not yeah. sure how accurate it is, but. Yeah, I believe that hour meter is only running at half speed for some reason. Because mm -hmm. it does work, it does advance, but it advances slowly. Right. So I don't know if maybe the, the synchronous motor is a little bit gooey and tight in there. Probably it needs to be disassembled and cleaned. But it even does the, work. Even the meters. Look how big the meters are. Yeah. And I mean, how clear, clear they're written on there. Yeah. But unfortunately, the, the frequency meter, the cycles uh, meter, is stuck pegged. I don't know why. I mean, the needle does move. If I tap on the, the box, it, it, it moves. Mm -hmm. But it's. I need to take it off and, and determine why. Right. Now, remember, I only got this thing I was going to say, ago. he only has this thing a week. Yeah. yeah. So. so he really didn't do anything to it. Maybe change the solenoid. That's about it. Yeah, I made new battery cables for it. Yeah, put a different starter solenoid on it. And just gave it a little cleaning. It was very dirty and dark. Um, the engine was in running condition when I got hmm. it, which is a first for me. You know. <laughs> but, uh, and there's the name, right, Mike? Tell him what the name is. Leroy. 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 Yeah, Leroy. Leroy. But, uh, yeah, it's a uh, four and a half inch bore and six inch stroke. Uh, which is, makes it about like 380 cubic inches, 381, something like that. Um, it is rated at 900 RPM, the set. So it's an eight pole uh, alternator, eight pole generator. Uh, so to get 60 cycles, you need to run it at 900 RPM. Its rating is 25 kVA, which is about 20 kilowatt. So it's not it's not all that powerful for its size, but it's it's considerable. It'll run the it'll run that 20 kilowatts forever, pretty much. We can take a look over here, and then uh, we'll see if we can get them to start it. Yeah, it's in very nice original shape. It's got some oil leaks that I need to address, but fully shielded ignition, uh, Woodward PS hydraulic governor. Very, very, very nice governor. Um, and like you said, everything is original. All those paints original. Yeah. And and the, the last people that had it just put that yellow uh, lettering on there. Michael probably change that back and and put it to to the military lettering, like right here. I don't yeah. Know how. Yeah. So the building that this was in was the the, the farm was subdivided and used for commercial purposes uh, many years ago. So the building that this was in was occupied by. A company that made like electrical apparatus, so they got it running again while it was still in place, and were using it as backup power. So they they put the, the yellow lettering on, mm. which is not it's yeah not, no it's, it's not, not obnoxious no it looks okay it's a safety feature yeah absolutely uh, uh, it is capable of running uh, one 120 volt only operation. This double throw switch will actually put the windings in series or parallel if you just wanted to run. 20 kilowatts of 120 power you could. I don't know why you want to do that, but you can. So, I run right. it on 220. When Mike goes to start this up, wait do you see the crowd it draws. <laughs> right now you see it's, we got maybe one or two people that are walking by. All right, go ahead, buddy. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it up. It's, it's going to be at idle. Um, yes, it is. 1943. Yep, yep. So, it's a, again, it's at idle. It should start pretty readily. It well, was running earlier. Yeah, yeah, running earlier. That's why I was messing with messing with it would start. Alright. Contact.
voltmeter meter here to ramp it up to rated speed. I'm looking at the frequency of the generator. So we're running a little bit over half speed right now. Remember, it's 900 RPM rated. So I'm just going to set it up here, and I'm going to increase the speed over on the governor side. Let's go around here with Mike. Governor, this is your speed adjustment up top here. I'm going to loosen this wing nut. Watch the holding meter while I increase it. You don't have to watch it, I'm going to watch it. They miss you.
All right, they're getting ready to run the train again. What do we got here running it? Ah, our buddy Mike. They use this in the in the sand, in the cranberry bogs in New Jersey. They carry sand, and uh, in the winter time they, they cover. They put tracks down and and uh, cover the cranberry trees with uh, sand and stuff. Looking back, let me cover you there. There you go. Look out, he's backing up. Very cool. o'clock and the uh, show's over and me and Mike are wrapping up here so uh, guess we're gonna call this one good huh all right see you in the next one